Hey guys, it's Crystal Method from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12, and today I'll be recreating my fall runway makeup look. It's a little bit spooky, it's gonna be pretty easy. So watch me go from this to this. I'm gonna start out by gluing down my eyebrows. And actually, I just realized I can't see, so I'm gonna put in some contacts. If it burns, you know it's working. Awesome. And while my eyebrows are like drying from the glue, I usually start at the bottom half of my face. I'm gonna put on these beautiful gloves so that my hands don't get all gross. The latex helps me blend out a lot of my eye contour and like nose and stuff because I can just press like that and it doesn't absorb into your hand. And I'm so sorry you're about to see how gross my makeup is. So first I'm gonna cover my beard a little bit with just like a red cream. And then I'm gonna set that with, oh gosh, another really gross powder puff with white powder. This is just a translucent neutral set. We're taking breaks in between to keep applying more layers. I'm gonna use one of these tan paint sticks. And then I only do my makeup like right there under my chin because I usually wear a lot of necklaces and they get really gross and caked. And then blend that out with a sponge. I like find the biggest one you can and then you can do your face really, really fast. So to make sure I don't put on too much, I'm just gonna get a little brush. And I like to start at the top of my ear and then to like there, and then I like flick it up a little bit. And then I like to do a pretty harsh line on my chin. And then we're just bouncing it down and then pulling it towards the center. Do one last layer. Some queens like lick the glue stick to kind of blend out the last layer, but I find that only the tips of my eyebrows come undone, so I like to lick my finger and then just pull like the glue up a little bit onto the skin. I'm not gonna brush it away just yet because the glue's still kind of wet. While I'm waiting for that, I'll just do my highlights. I like a really harsh, like, what is that? A cheek contour. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go under with the slider color too. And then dipping in and going to town. The same brush that I did my cheeks with, I'm gonna run a line down the side of my nose. And then I like to just blend this out with my finger. When you use latex gloves, you're gonna get like a little bit more preci precision than if you used a sponge, just cause you can get in there. I think I saw it from like Jasmine Masters and Chi Chi. Chichi Devane. I just love it because my hands obviously get really gross and then I just don't have to worry about it. Then I just go back in with more of the ivory color and I just draw a line like really close. And blend that out. I like to have a little um, clown nose almost. And then I also do my um, little blush dot. Just blend that out the tiniest bit. And now we're just gonna set it all with the same um, color. I use a mixture of like my translucent neutral set with like a tan powder, cause otherwise like in pictures, the white really uh, takes away the color from my face. And for a long time, um, people didn't realize that I was Mexican because I just always look so white. I have a separate uh, sponge that I use for my powders. I just like to have one wet one and one dry one. Yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm just gonna let all that sit there for a while while I work on my eyes. And from here, we're basically working our way down. Because I get crazy with the glue up on top, I like to get a makeup wipe and just kind of clean it up a little bit. And then that's almost my guide of where I'm going to put my eyebrow. So we're going to get more cream and white. And I like to start kind of where my actual brow is so that you get still some of the movement. And then I just follow it up and I want to hide all the texture of these brow hairs. So I'm kind of just going to put the bottom of the eyebrow where those hairs are. I want to be really spooky looking, so I'll make them even higher. Getting ready and drag really fast, I found, has been like really helpful. If you can do it, it's going to help you a lot. It looks kind of good. <laughs> I'll just take my ivory and get kind of as close to the white as I can. And then I'll take the tan color and I'll blend these together first. Just a little bit of this really dark color. I want to do a like really big smoky eye and it's going to be kind of red and orange to match the contacts and I'm going to do it all with creams and then we'll set it when I'm done. I like to go from the lightest color to the darkest color. So with the red, I'm gonna kinda just map out how big I want the shape to be. And I get the shape from my bottom eye by just following the bags under my eye. And then I cover it in black and you can't tell how tired I am. And this look is supposed to be kind of grungy, so if it's not super perfect or if you mess up, it's kind of good. We're also gonna have lots of band-aids, so you can put it on any mistake. That's kind of it for the red. Now black. You can do it with your finger or a brush. So this is just a black paint stick, and you're just gonna follow the shape we already made. And for my brows, I like to have a little bit of texture in the front. I just kind of start here and like very gently like just pull up and these can be kind of just crazy. And then I try and get it skinny up here. Hot. Hmm, kind of like that. <laughs> that is weird shaped. I'm gonna set that with my translucent neutral set and then for the top part, I'll use the tan color. I saw Latrice do a makeup tutorial and she, like the powder that she put on her face, she just pressed all back in and I feel like that changed my life, but I can't ever get it all to disappear, but I just try and run around my face a few times just to make sure that everything is really pushed in. And we'll brush all this off. And now this is kind of our map for what we're about to do with powder. I like to start out with my uh, cheek contour, so I'm gonna take just a bronzer with a contour brush. And I like to keep my line here kind of harsh, so um, I just grab anything flat. I don't want to disrupt this like line here, so I just kind of just pull it across. And then I do it again um, with an even darker color. Cool. And while I work on the eyes, I'm just gonna put the tan powder underneath to catch all the fallout and also just to pull out the highlights a little more. Uh, let's take a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna use like orange and red. And I like to bring my color up like into my brows too. And 
then I'm going to take another brush for our red. And I'm going to try and use that to blend out uh, where the black and the red are meeting here with the creams. I also like to even get a little my eye color on my nose. This is the best part. Now we're going to go in with just black eyeshadow and put that all over the eye. I like to just take a fluffy white brush and really get this white popping. So here's the part where I start needing to get a little intricate. This is just a liquid liner, and I like this for the ends of my brows, just because I want it to be really, really dark. I like to take like a thin brush, a little tiny guy, and I'll do this little hairs with a black eyeshadow. And I use my saliva a lot, and I like get the eyeshadow wet. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna take the same little brush I did my orange with, and I have this really, really hot pink, and use that on my nose. And, and I like it to be really concentrated. I look like a spooky little doll. And now we're gonna do lips. I wanna do like a really big black, lip and then I want to have kind of a smoky red effect like the eyes. My inspiration is the jack-o'-lantern that I held during the runway. I didn't bring him with me today because I threw it in the trash. I kind of just draw little lines on my mouth like that. And then I basically just draw almost a straight line to connect them because I like to smile and I found that when I go I used to do it like that and I just don't like the shape and I feel like they just look more full when I smile now but since I want it to be spooky for this look I'm gonna go even bigger okay <laughs> this is cute okay now the bottom part of my mouth I don't use the very like last tip of my lip. I like to pull it in just a little bit so it looks really pouty. And then I just have almost like a little right under my lip. I, that's where I'm drawing my new one. I'm gonna set it with my translucent. And I wanna just get some like uh, gradients around the lip, so it kind of just like looks like it's glowing after I put all the glitter on. I'm gonna start to just see how I like it at the corners of the mouth. And then just around the lip just a little bit. And then we'll do it again with red. And now that I've kind of got that, I can clean up the tips of the black. We're gonna do our liquid liner again. and just use it like a lip liner. And I have a little one and then I have a big one and I like to use the big one just to fill everything in. And I always set my black liner with black. I, for some reason I can't think of what anything is called today. I'm gonna take some white cream to give myself the little triangle here in my inner eye. So I'm gonna set it with white powder. So I take three different sized glitters. I like a big chunky one and then a medium sized and a really fine. And I'm just gonna take some glitter primer and I use the same brush as my white cream. 
I kind of just scoop a big scoop like this and I try and place it right where my white is. I start with the largest glitter and I work my way down. That way the big glitter can stick and the other glitters just fill in all the gaps. Oh yeah, amazing. I don't want it all over on the black, I just want it where I put the white, so it should just dust off. And since it gets a little messy after that, I just like to clean the line back up with my liquid liner. And then all the white that like ran over, it just, I feel like it looks like it's glowing. And now we're gonna do the black glitter. And this is just more craft store glitter. Ooh, yeah. And then just the tiniest amount of silver. And now we just follow the lip shape. And then we'll do black all over, and then I want to do silver just in the center. Oh yeah. And now the center just pops. And I really want to put red glitter here. I'll go in with this bigger one first. Fill in with a small, take some off. And I uh, like to add a little bit of glitter to my cheeks, but this is like a creamy kind of glitter, so you can just put it right on. Finally, I think we just need to do highlighter and then lashes. So setting spray, a fluffy brush, and I've got this like lavender, shimmer eyeshadow that I'm gonna use as highlighter. And this will be on my cheeks, just our cheekbone right there. I've got a white color that I'll kind of do there and under the eyes again. And on the bridge of my nose. And the last thing I do on my face is my little white dot. Oh, it's always so stressful. Lashes. These are my top lashes. This is a 301 that I just cut in the middle and then piece back together so it's smaller and fits on my eye. And this is a huge fluffy lash. It's a little bit longer, it's got like three more hairs, but I cut them off and I use that on my bottom part of my eye. Another drag queen trick is to use hair bond to glue on your lashes. So I usually just screw the top off and dip my brush in. So I can just put it on the lash here. And it's really helpful if you have tweezers. Right under where this glitter is, that's where I'm gonna set it. So even when I'm blinking, it just doesn't move. This one I'm gonna put closer to my lash line. And then we'll go to the bottoms. I just take a uh, spiky lash and I add that huge fluffy one to the end. I like to put them kind of like where my eye bag is, I like to place it kind of in that little crack. Yeah, I think it looks good. So now I'm gonna put my uh, fake bald cap on. Uh, to make this, I was just wearing a wig cap and then I took duct tape and put it on so it wouldn't stick to my hair. And then I put a bunch of bandages on top, but you can reuse it and save yourself money because they're really expensive. And I'm just gonna take a bunch of these big ones to just get it to stick to my face and cover up this bald cap. Well, I wanted to look like I had like burned or something and this is just how I guess I was covering it. I don't really know. The face is done, so I'm gonna go throw on the rest of the look and then I'll be right back. Ta-da! This is the final look. I love this look because it's dark, it's edgy, it's glamorous. I feel rich, oh my gosh. I hope you all had fun watching me paint my face and I hope to see you out on the road.
Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.